Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will be talking to you about the Tableau versus ClickSense. These are the two tools in which I have done most of my work and delivered many projects for dashboarding and reporting. And apart from these two, if you have seen my blog recently, even I have started publishing the Power BI related tutorial. That is a tool which I explored around four or five years back, did not do much of a work, but uh, an exploration was done just to see how compatible it was, but at that time it was just launched, so I did not do much uh, much work over there. But in this video for Tableau and ClickSense, I wanted to tell you mostly from the developer point of view as to what really the difference is in both of these two tools. Okay, so now let's start with the Tableau. So first thing about the Tableau is that uh, which you may have seen everywhere it is easy to use it is a tool which you can use without much of an effort i mean if you will give let's say um, one week of learning you will be like all set or all ready uh, to start using it with your basic visualization point of view so the learning curve is good and uh, that's something i wanted to say in the second point it has a quick learning curve because it has this very intuitive drag and drop sort of a, a design platform where you pull you pull in the fields which is your dimensions and measures and it will create the visualization for you also it has the show me tab which basically gives you the recommendation as to which visualization will work based on the selection that you make on the uh, fields so that's that's quick learning curve uh, third thing is the strong community support. There is a very, very strong community support. I mean, this is the, this is one tool where I've seen community is so strong, so passionate, so supportable that you feel like um, you are not just doing a visualization, but you have become part of that community. And uh, this basically becomes, uh, or, or this basically really helps to have a very smooth journey because there are so many people out there uh, on, on Twitter or on LinkedIn where when once you tag them which is hash data fem so once you tag them you know there is a uh, there is a reply that you get there is a support there is a feedback for your visualization which you get so this is something which is very special about it and I also Tableau has created this uh, this basically uh, you know geo wise or region wise or even within the company it has created this tug which is basically nothing uh, it's, it's a group Tableau user group and that's what they call it TUG tuck and uh, that is helpful where if if a new is new person is coming then it has this already community which which is having the expert so that's a very amazing thing next thing is uh, it it has a lot of capabilities for the advanced visualization because of uh, not just with the basic charts the flexibility that it supports but all the different combination with which you can increase the size of the particular visualization decrease it create the dual axis you can use actions and things like those all of this thing you can do to create the advanced visualization apart from that uh, the next thing is is the effective dashboarding within the dashboarding over a period of years it has become matured and become sort of a standard as to how you can do the uh, dashboarding it in 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 the tableau and it you have both of things like you can be as strict as you can fix your component or you can have floating components you can design the dashboard for mobile for tab for desktop all of those things you can very easily find it within the tableau next thing is is the sto strong story building it has a separate component it's basically the very first tool which introduced the story building at least that's what i know that this is the first tool uh, which is which has uh, introduced the story building if you know a tool which is prior to tableau that has been, that has uh, uh, introduced the stories let me know in the comments it will even that will be a learning for me as well but uh, as far as my knowledge concerned this was the first one and it has an amazing capability where you can design your st uh, stories and show it step by step also you have this capability where within the story you can have one single sheet or or entire dashboard right so that's something which i found it really useful even used in in some of those scenarios where user want to have a very clear indication as to what this particular section contains and in that section whether they want to see just one sheet or they want to see uh, multiple sheets combined with the filter and everything so that's why i feel that 
uh, not just with the traditional stories, uh, the data stories that you, you may want to build, but also you can build some compelling uh, group of visualization. After that, what it has is the uh, is one of the shortcoming uh, lack of data modeling. So that is the reason why you have the uh, Tableau Prep recently introduced tool. And within that, because in, in a traditionally available Tableau desktop, you can, up to a level, you can join the data filtering and all that, but it does not have those sophisticated data modeling things uh, in the, uh, uh, in, as, as part of the inbuilt functionality of the tool. Um, next is the performance. So whenever the performance uh, goes down for big and complex ways, this is what I personally felt that whenever my visualization is becoming big or I'm using a complex logic um, and uh, that's where I see that performance is being hit and it, it is going down. One of those reasons which I found that um, uh, because of those two things, I found that somewhere it lacks. Uh, where maybe you know a more stable version or more stable uh, basically a, a desktop platform is what is needed so that uh, it, it can handle the large and complex visualization because data is becoming huge day by day and uh, multiple times it has happened with me that when I was using it and building something the application stopped abruptly and I lost everything what I did so I'll, I'll always make sure that I save it and then only I move ahead with another complex thing. So that's that's something I wanted to show you along with all the good things that it has. Some of those things which as part of the development, I see that uh, I have I faced issues with. Um, after that, let's move on to, okay, we have desktop and uh, cloud-based app. So both the version is available in Tableau, and but in the click sense, which I will show you, you only have the cloud-based app. It used to have earlier the desktop app, but the click took the conscious decision where they stopped uh, giving the docs desktop app and you only have the cloud-based solution for ClickSense. So now let's look on, look, look about the ClickSense. We have the, um, as compared to easy to use in Tableau, this is slightly tough when you compare both of them because the environment, what I've seen uh, when I've used both the ones, and uh, I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, I started with the click view. That's one of the very first tool I even started blogging about. And then from click view, I moved on to the click sense. So for me, uh, you know, it's like jumping to Tableau was a, was a good, or uh, I would say a relatively very, very easy experience because I have already experienced the tough part or relatively tough part. So in click sense, if you are coming from the Tableau, you will feel that uh, it's it's slightly tough because, because of all the capabilities and uh, all the complexity that it provides. Um, second thing is uh, needs a little bit long learning curve. Trust me, even um, uh, for learning the uh, click view or click uh, up to a, a certain extent, even with the click sense, at least, at least three months of the learning which I did uh, when when I started learning this click view or click sense and before that I had a very strong background of doing the dashboarding within the uh, within the Excel CS within the even in the spreadsheet strong reporting VBA everything I had it but still I felt that uh, uh, you know it has those well, what I would say uh, level of complexities uh, which in turn is a capability as well where you really need to have a, a good and a, you know big learning curve as compared to the Tableau. After that, uh, what it has is the with click community is good and responsive. Uh, when I say click community, mostly what I have seen is unlike Tableau, where you have the public community, uh, that means other than the community.tableau.com, the website, similarly, for click, you have click uh, community.click.com. I think that's what the site is. That means the community inside the click website is something what you have. But outside of click, what I have never seen anything like what Tableau has done as part of the innovation where he has it has created the Tableau user groups. That's something which I have not seen in case of ClickSense. That's why I felt uh, that when somebody is doing the work with Tableau, somebody is a beginner, they can have a quick learning curve because 
there is someone out there who can provide them the feedback and they are the expert people in their in in the in the tableau as a field so but that's something in click sense what i felt is is missing when i moved from click sense to tableau um then basic to moderate level of visualization lie on um, like you have the effective advanced visualization over here in tableau but in case of the click sense the the visualization are fairly basic you can do little bit of complexity with the visualization like you can have sort of an average line or you can have like constant line you know uh, do conditional formatting and things like those which is basic in nature what i felt is something you can easily do but tableau has much more capability what i felt when i used both of them uh, cloud based environment like i said it has both the desktop and cloud based app but here in this case you only have the cloud based environment uh then you have the strong data uh, manipulation skills or strong data uh, you know the functions or the scripting is available where you can write the script in tableau you don't have any script but in case of the click sense you have the very strong scripting which you can write so if you are a, if you are the one who are coming from some sort of a programming background or even if you have done like vba you will enjoy working in this um then you have the uh, strong data modeling uh, skills or the strong data modeling environment so based on the backend script that you can write there you can even do and design the models like the star schema model snowflake schema model or even uh, if a, if it is a small application then an independent table itself will going to work and it provides a lot of insights uh, when you create a model so if you, if you are learning or if you have learned through my blog about the about this tool you may have seen that uh, the different level of understanding or the, the different information the data model provides in the click sense uh, finally the performance is good for relatively complex visualization that's what i felt that in case of click what i felt is the um, the the app is the relatively stable because i wrote some very very complex formulas and even at one find i remember i went up to an extent where i wrote a formula which actually took i i saw my watch and i i, I looked at it and see that it took 90 seconds to produce a result so you can think about it that what a complex visualization it would be or a complex scripting that would be and uh, not just the one expression which i wrote which took like 90 second Uh, i copied that uh, expression once it was developed and uh, replicated to at least around uh, 10 or 15 visualizations so overall time was uh, around moved to 5 4 to 5 minute so for one click which i was doing over there it was taking 5 minute but the good part of good part is that the application was not closing down abruptly that was the best thing which i felt uh, with the click sense uh and uh, in case of a tableau when whenever i go li little bit complex with that i see that it it starts shaking up and and stops abruptly so one of those things probably uh, probably tableau and click like they have in their platforms some some of the capabilities are good here some of the capabilities are good here when it comes to the development side but overall i have enjoyed working in both the tools if uh, i i would say in the end in my conclusion if you are the one who enjoys programming who enjoy working with the data or who enjoy data manipulations and things like those this is the tool for you right uh, if you are the one where you you are just concerned with producing some good beautiful advanced visualization with good interactive capabilities tableau is your tool because even the tableau advises that if you have a complex scripting complex data model then take it out of tableau you know do whatever you want to do like tool like altrix or tab tableau prep or even i have used python for doing all of the background uh, massaging of the data and just giving the final output here so that the tool is is not giving me the hard time whenever i'm creating a visualization so that's something uh, which which i feel that uh, if you are the one who just enjoy you know the data visualization or your work is just to produce a visualization you don't want to work much on the data or the scripting side then this is not where you will going to enjoy a lot but if you want to have something which 
fairly good visualization not as advanced what i felt is not as advanced as compared to tableau but you want to enjoy both the part the data scripting and the and the visualization then this is a tool also from an organization perspective if you are the one who are evaluating then think about how complex uh, sometimes the situation is if you want to have one tool which can handle uh, best of both worlds that means uh, you can handle the data modeling data manipulation uh, and in the same tool you want to do some fairly basics to intermediate level visualization then click sense is basically your tool but definitely uh, then in click sense you have some third party uh, visualization capabilities as well through which you can basically develop the more advanced visualization but again that depends on uh, most of the time it depends on um, additional you know payment or additional money that you need to spend also uh, all the secure data security and other things like those so that's my basically conclusion or that's my um, suggestion uh, whomsoever is evaluating again mostly from development point of view because that is what i have been mostly engaged with i have never gone on the side of the server so sorry most of you have asked me the questions about the server i have never worked on the server so i really cannot suggest anything on that side so that's about it let me know how did you find this video or if you have any comments if you have any further points on both these sites then also mention that in the comments uh, who knows uh, we may create a, such a great list that uh, it is useful for for all of us so with that i i thank you for spending time with me and i'll meet you in the next video